Hi besties, welcome back to Pokemon Alt Red with a gun. Episode, I don't remember to be honest. It's like seven or something. Thanks for coming back time and time again for this uh, little series you're doing over here. Re revisiting Pokemon Alt Red. It's been a lot of fun and I hope you guys have been having fun also. Yeah, you, you have to. It's it's illegal not to have fun over here on the Hoodcal channel. Sorry, Hoodlum Callum channel. I forgot my second channel is actually called Hoodcal, which by the way, if you don't so check out my second channel, man, let's put out some bangers there. Not ROM hack stuff though. Anyways, enough waffling. Uh, let me get my bearings. I don't actually remember what we were doing last episode. Okay, I remember. We have to go take on Team Rocket now. You guys keep asking for longer episodes and I want to deliver them, but I already record for like an hour, sometimes like an hour 15. I think grinding maybe takes up a little portion of that sometimes. But like last episode, I recorded for a bit and I was like, man, this episode's going to be so long and it ended up being the shortest one yet. And I was just so confused. Because I'm like, man, I swear to God, I talked more than like 13 minutes. So I apologize that the episodes aren't long enough. To get them as long as you guys seem to want them to be, I would have to record for like two hours per episode, which I don't know if I can justify. Either that or I just start waffling and I just start saying things that like nobody cares about. I just I just talk and talk and talk about just complete nonsense. Just uh, fill the video, you know, pad it out. Uh, you know, I think we're good on recover. I kind of like the idea of this thing being like an assault vest user. I don't know if assault vest is in this game or not, but it would be really cool if it was. We've got mechans here, which uh, actually remains the same. Not not any changes here. Ooh, that's different. So originally, I guess this is what it used to look like. Hold on, let's just place this like, I don't know where to put it. I can place this here. The graphic design is my passion. I gave it a little border and made it look prettier. I hope you guys like that. But yeah, this is like night and day. I mean, originally it looks like it was meant to be like a pen. You see what I mean? Like the the top right, it kind of looks like a like a ballpoint pen or whatever. I think that's what they're called. The Snee Squire genuinely looks like it could actually be like a real Pokemon. Finally, a good fucking move. Oh, Jesus. That is a disgusting rat yeah huge upgrade uh definitely used to look a lot worse i mean it wasn't even bad before honestly it's just like it's a lot more personalized which i really appreciate oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. shocking shocking don't kill it thank you yeah this thing's just night and day man like dude this thing genuinely looks so phenomenal i could like it i say this a lot but i could genuinely see this thing being a real pokemon like like this might be one of my favorite upgrades actually the lighting of like the of the smoke oh, it's it's dude I'm, I'm it's so good i really hope wheezing is just as nice so i've actually been seeing quite a few of you guys saying that you there's some like there's quite a few of the older ones you like more i think for me the only one i really could say i like more is the machoke line i, I don't even know if that's actually true yeah never mind i'm completely completely wrong there's another one though. Actually, it was the old Wooper Sprite, I think. The thing is, right? I think the old one, it, the old one looks, I guess, cleaner because it's an actual Wooper Sprite edited. Whereas the new one just has so much more personality. The colors are nicer. I think it's like a little rough around the edges in some parts, like around its head and like a, it, it smiles a little bit rough. But yeah, I mean, the new one, is, it's still better. Like just, I, I don't know. There's yet to be a new sprite that I don't think is generally just overall better for the game. Dude, I've been playing like I'm, I'm like what some people will call a Kanto tuber or <laughs> I just play Fire, Fire Red Leaf Green over and over again. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm joking, but like I have been playing Fire Red Leaf Green over and over again for a good few years now. And I still, I mean, I don't know if I'm really necessarily doing the rocket hideout wrong. I'm just, I could be doing it faster. I could totally skip these guys, but I don't. Cause I mean, I, I mean, I just want to see, I just want to see the Pokemon. I want to see what all the Pokemon look like. But every time I come down here, I'm always like bamboozled. Like, oops, I don't have the key yet. Every time I always go into the elevator, as if I have the key already. Did I ever show you guys what Yanma used to look like? Yeah, I used to look a lot. Well, it's not even a lot worse. It, it's just, it looks like it's in motion now, which is just really sick. Oh, it's Clayto. It's the guy from uh, the demo that was leaked or whatever. Space World demo, I think. This is what he used to look like. <laughs> so yeah, vast improvement. Wait, is this thing? Oh yeah, this thing got like the, uh, you know what I mean? Like the... The things that turtles get stuck on before it just used to like look like it was cosplaying grimer yeah definitely a big fan of this change well i don't have any revives so uh let's hope we can beat this with two pokemon belly drum oh it'd be rude not to you know i was about to assume that it remained unchanged but uh nah it's actually uh he's got little devil horns now fires a lot more better for lack of a good word yeah huge change wait why is it the team magma grunt i'm so confused <gasps> 
Oh my god! It's Haunami. I'm on one HP. Please don't hurt yourself with confusion, bro. I need you, bro. Sky is gonna love that Pokemon. All right, well, I can't go into this with a half dead team. Okay, I've got a secret weapon. We're candying up to revive my Pokemon. Anyone else do this as a kid? You ain't from Kanto if you've never done this before. <laughs> now, I will be honest, I did take a sneak peek at when Starscream evolves and he evolves at level 40. Hence why we're feeding Starscream all four of our rare candies. I need this, okay? We're learning Drill Pack, which is very nice. Let's get rid of Cut. I didn't mean to have it in the first place. And now Starscream is evolving. The silhouette is looking a lot different than what I remember. Oh, is that like, wait. Oh, no, no, that's his toes. I thought that was his face. Oh my God, yes. What an absolute slay. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. To everyone that just cringed, I apologize. Can we appreciate this crazy glow up? Like before it just kind of looked like a, a worse Salamence, but now it's its own thing. Does that make sense? By completely doing the sprite from start to finish, I guess. By, by completely starting over and making it its own sprite. It doesn't just look like Salamence, but with a beak and feathers. I mean, it is quite a drastic change to Salamence, but it just looks like its own thing now. And I love it so much, man. I'm so glad we picked this thing up. All right, we're going in with two Pokemon and a dream. Big man Giovanni has got a Cabala, which apparently used to be a Kirby boss. Oh, it's not a great lead for me, I'll be honest. Assuming you're an electric type. Yes, get owned. Oh my God, that is awesome, dude. I kind of want to use that. Like before it was cool, but then they made it more mechanical and then turned on the red lights on the eyes and the head and it, it just it, it took it from like a like a 50 to like a 100 sorry let me put this back over here <laughs> i don't even know what to do to that uh i probably should switch into starscream smart strike ow i'm so glad i swapped you with so much hp you big bitch oh damn drill pack like damn near one tap that dude starscream kind of nuts you ah we got thick fat super effective doesn't quite one tap another one huge i remember this yes believe it or not it has actually changed this is what it used to look like uh i think yeah it's got an, a different style of shading and uh it's got more of like a, a cool hairstyle and its eyes are glowing now so even something like this that in my opinion didn't even need to be changed because the original sprite was already pretty good they changed it and uh it just fits fits right in with their little world that they've got going on here i really like it thank goodness it did not use eye shard because it had eye shard i don't know if it copied it from a croconaut but it had eye shard and i'm very glad it didn't use it hey isn't there an item down here yeah there is all right i'm gonna bargain with you guys really fast you guys want more content i need more time to give you more content so instead of grinding legitimately we're gonna we're gonna put in some rare candies hopefully by doing this the videos can at least be like two to three minutes longer or something <laughs> There we go. Remember chat, always back up your save files. So my current team already look like they're over leveling for the next gym. And you know what? Since we're actually not running, since we're not like manually leveling up, let's just, let, oh, my bag's full, okay. Basically, we're gonna remove the lucky eggs. So we've got a little bit more control of our Pokemon's leveling up. All right, Barb, you're great, but we're gonna box you for now. I'm curious about Smoglu. It still allows a little 35. Oh my God, okay. Mias Maria. This thing's actually pretty badass. I mean, before it just used to look like a color change, honestly. So, oh, hold on. Yeah, before. I still don't know why I have the shiny coloration, but not the shiny. Is there like a bug where like, if you get like a full odd shiny, it just has, it just isn't given the shiny coloration or isn't given the shiny badge, but it is shiny. I don't know, dude. I'm just making stuff up. All right, I decided I wanted to give Gligar a shot and I saw that it evolves at level 36. So that's a about the ballpark of the well that's that's actually the level cap of the next gym so this is about what we want oh wow ah uh, he's got four arms now which six arms actually four of them are pincers that is actually awesome i still like the old one the old one is still good but the new one so much more personality which is what sprites are all about you know this thing's actually making me really want to use smooch them because it's it's a mermaid and like it's it's like an actual on-the-nose mermaid Pokemon, which I don't think we actually have. Oh yeah, we got Pre-Marina, but like that's like a, it's like a sea, like this is like a, as close to, to like an actual mermaid I think we will ever see in Pokemon. And it evolves at level 30. Let's hope Jinx doesn't screw it up. I can confirm that Jinx did not screw it up. That looks awesome, actually. I am so on board with that. What did it used to look like? Oh, yeah, that makes sense why I didn't like it before. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Coughing and Jinx are in contention for like the biggest upgrade. Oh my God. 
they look phenomenal. That is that is that is an incredible upgrade. Like before, it just what even was that before? It's called Sirenx, like Siren, I guess, and Jinx. So this thing didn't evolve to level 25. I was beginning to think that it's a high happiness evolution, but no, it must just be like a really strong Pokemon. We already seen what this thing looks like and looking at it, it doesn't evolve to level 40, which is a little bit above what we want right now. But I mean, I'm kind of curious. We already have a level 40. It's not too out of line, I think. So learning a lot of water type moves which is really interesting. But here we have level 40, uh, Binafi evolving. Oh my god. Okay, the proportions are interesting. Like at first glance, they look off, but like when you actually really look at it, I think they're fine. Wow, I actually really like this. Cerber Cerberos. Oh, Sorting Dragon Pulse. It's a Grand Dragon now. Okay, huge. It is more of a special attacker, at least our one is. It has immunity, which means it can't be poisoned. Interesting. Uh, okay, I actually kind of love this. This thing's kind of insane. Compared to the old 2020 version, uh, we are eating to say the least corvana evolves to level 30 standard stuff oh wow yeah natural progression for sure and obviously it's going to be a big improvement of what the original one was i don't even remember what that looks like yeah the original one was really forgettable <laughs> wow this new one has made a big impact actually comparatively i actually might use it for a little bit at least so this little puppy evolves with a thunderstone what do we have here oh my god you're so handsome oh my god wow they actually made me really like arcanine oh you know what's crazy though the original one is probably a fan favorite and they changed it drastically the original one is really good don't get me wrong this one kind of reminds me of that beta suicune I, I am going to go out and say, I think I do prefer the new one, but the original one, like, I think all I really needed was like maybe a little bit more shading and the original one was actually already phenomenal. So this is actually, this is, a, this is actually tough. And you know what this, I'm pretty sure it's just, it evolved the Thunderstone. It looks like it could be an electric water type, but it might just be pure electric type, just like the pre-evolution. Yeah, it's just pure electric type. Interesting. Fortunately, uh, despite being a stone evolution, it actually still has a level up moves, which is good because usually stone evolutions don't get that. So we're building a team of Pokemon that are like a little bit lower in the 30s and uh, we need one more Pokemon. So let's see what we have. So this thing evolves at level 32. We've already compared the design and stuff like that, but uh, I genuinely just really like this Pokemon. So I'm going to use it. Exeguhord. It is a bug grass type, which is kind of cool. All right, there's a fresh new faces over here. Saffron City. I don't know. So whenever you visit this guy, wait, don't say a word. You wanted this, right? You already know, don't you? TM29 is psychic. It's an attack that may lower your target special attack. Okay, so the way I interpreted that when I was younger and the way I still interpret this, he's like, wait, don't say a thing. You wanted this. I feel like, it, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud, it probably sounds silly, but like the way I saw it, I mean, obviously it's he's, he's Mr. Psychic. He's like, he knows that you're coming, but it could also be a play on the fact that if you're replaying this game, you're going there for Psychic because Psychic is a very good move. So he's like, ah, I don't know. What you're I don't know. I don't know. What? They got rid of the fighting dojo and like, they, they messed up the, the windows. That's not how windows look. Guys, I've got a confession to make. I might not be the best Kanto tuber anymore. I completely forgot where I was going. I was trying to do the fifth gym and turns out it's Pokemon Tower next, which I already acknowledged mentally, but then I completely forgot. You know, having brain rot is not great. Oh, what the hell? Why are you here already? What? Why am I fighting the ghost? Hey, yo. Ow. Plus four over here. It's fine, though. Oh, uh, we already did that, I guess. There's Pleadal. Oh, wait, we need to pick up Pleadal. Oh, God. Okay. <gasps> Ooganaut. Wait, I actually really want to pick this up. Its disguise is incomplete. So the bug hive mind that makes up Ooganaut can easily be scattered. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I love how unamused this thing is, man. Oh, my God. Wait, Cramper? Heard. That might be a thumbnail Pokemon. Yeah, it used to look pretty good, but now it looks insane. I just realized, was her name Laurel? We all, we all remember Yancey and Laurel? What the? Oh my god, you're so cool! Femuron? Yo, this game is cooking. Oh my god. What What even? Like, the old one wasn't bad, but the new one is just so much. Wow. Lots of improvement today. I love this guy, man. He ain't got, sh he ain't got shit to say. <laughs> Wait. Whitening? Is that whitening? Is that what that's called? Such a glow up. What a king. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Ilveon. We talked about that. I think if I use a, an item on my on my Umbreon, it will evolve into this. Uh, by the looks of it, Sylveon didn't used to be in this game. This is uh, this appears to be a new addition. Oh, 
looking at the description apparently it used to be leafeon ilveon is based on sweet scent it used to be a leafeon altar so i mean yeah pretty drastic change what ha uh, hold on it used to be this which i'm actually not quite sure what that is oh it's a question mark question mark question mark type which is actually cool you can only find it in route 25 with a super rod okay oh and their other game varia blue apparently it's going to be a cosmic type and it's based off of a genre of cosmic horror it looks phenomenal i, d I don't i mean it's got like maps or something i don't know he's like he's like holding maps very interesting there's my little baby <laughs> yeah i remember this actually they made the trap inch line like a motorbike dude this isn't even like this this doesn't even look like it's from the same game like the colors are the same and that's about it wow wait agatha's there what the hell wait yo wait hold on that dust looks kind of nice though yeah it didn't even always look like that it used to look like this which is a complete like it, it completely straight away from the original dust clops line it just looked like a little bit of a recolor yeah this new one is heat i really don't have to battle or i'm not right oh okay what why are you why are you evil now rocket admin agatha i didn't sign up for this i'm gonna go heal my guys how dare you why are you evil agatha i okay so i guess I thought the next gym was level 36 because it's actually Agatha. Okay, the gym levels after this like bump up a lot. Oh wow, you are you are very cool, aren't you? The old one wasn't bad, but definitely a big upgrade. I want you look at how look at how close I am to losing and just dying. Oh my god, man. All right, well we're ready for this gym battle. Double. I don't know what this is. I guess Agatha is just evil now. Zotom and Pelly Storm. Oh Jesus. Wait, that's the way that Zatu is actually kind of awesome. I didn't like it at first, but like when I when I had a proper look at it, this is what we used to look like. Big upgrade. All right, we just go for the classic rock slide and double battles, which is uh, I mean, thirty percent flinch chance on both Pokemon is uh, it's just it's just the best move in the game. We're gonna giga drain the Zotom, assuming it's a rock or a ground type. Nice condemn toy. We can just giga drain that and we'll rock slide again. We hurt ourselves in confusion. I want to die. Hurt ourselves in confusion again. Let's go. Fully paralyzed. Let's go. Hurt ourselves in confusion for a third time. Let's go. <laughs> hey yo! The Snorlax has a Glock. Sharpie dope, please. Okay, thank God, man. I need some flinchies. Jesus Christ. I'm leech eating that thing right after I power flinch it. Okay, there we go. Nice. I'm gonna leech eat this thing too. We got a pretty good thing going on here with Sharpedo just spamming Rock Slide. Because if they don't get fully paralyzed, Pally Storm is just uh, dodging. Yeah, if it doesn't get paralyzed, it'll get flinched. And Agatha's a coward and keeps healing up her Pokemon. Who would do that? At least Exeggie Horde is back to full HP. I can't even. Wait. I think I can paralyze Pally Storm because it's older gen mechanics. All right, we spam, we spam Geek Dazzling Gleam now. It is super effective on Snore Shoot, which is nice. Uh, never mind, we're dead. Yes, we can paralyze Pally Storm. Let's go. All right, Snore Shoot was out of the way, which is huge. It did just yawn burrito though. We got another Pokemon. Cramper, yeah, this guy. Honestly, Pally Storm can just sit there. He's kind of useless. Oh, never mind. They full healed him. And burrito is now sleeping. God, this battle is difficult. Oh, Cramper to go Shadow Tag. Great. And Exeggy Horde is dead now. And I switched in this. Okay. Not my greatest move, to be fair. You know, I think Pelly Storm has to go. Crunch is... Wow, it still took me out. Burrito finishes off Cramperd. Thankfully, it's just a Her Hercada. Alright, dude, you've been healing all battle. Let me use a Super Potion at least. I'm just gonna spam Snarl and use a Super Potion on my guy. This is a very unfair fight. Alright, it's a 1v1 though. I think we're fine. Yeah, we got it. Cool. Oh, now you want to learn Crunch. Oh, thank God. Give it to me. Thank you. Can you believe, can you believe that Gunlax, dude? Or Snorshoot? I don't think Gunlax might be better. Anyways, uh, Agatha's evil now, apparently. And that's where I'm going to call that episode there. Hopefully, it was a little bit of a longer one for you now that I removed grinding. We'll see. Uh, I guess we'll see when I open it up in Adobe Premiere. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.